Let me show you how we can use Claude models inside of Cursor. So if we open up Cursor, there are a few different ways that we can do this. Regardless of which way you decide to do it, we need to open up the Cursor settings. To do that, let's go in the upper right and click on this cog. Then once we're here, go over to the left and click on Models. Now we have the list of all the models we can use. We can hit the checkbox on any of these models in order to use them. So here I've selected all of the Claude models. Over on the right, when we're actually using these models, what we have it set to is Auto, and what it's going to do is it's going to choose the best one it thinks to use use for that particular situation. I'm going to change this agent to ask and I'm going to select auto and then unselect it so that I can choose specifically which model I want to use. So you can see here it selects the first model here which is 3.5 sonnet but I may not have wanted to use that. I want to use something like 3.7 sonnet. So I'll click on that and then I'm just going to ask it a question. So I'm in this project that compresses images and I'm going to ask it what does the compression.go file do and then I'll hit enter and see what it gives me. So that was pretty easy. It looks like it takes image data as by array and quality parameter, decodes it, and then compresses it, which is exactly what it does. But let me tell you what this is using under the hood. It means you're actually using premium models requests, and you only get 500 of these if you're on the pro plan. If you're on the pro trial plan, you get 150 of these. Now, once you're out of these, you either have to pay for more, or you have to use the GPT-40 mini or a cursor small models instead of using any of the premium models like Claude. Now, if you're curious on how you might be able to get pro for free, you can check out the video in the description or in the card up here. Another way that we we can use the Claude models is by directly using the Anthropic API. To do that, we first need to make an Anthropic account, and then we need to navigate to console.anthropic.com forward slash settings forward slash keys to create an API key. You can also get here by just being at console.anthropic.com and then going over to the left and clicking on API keys. You can take them to this page, and we need to click on the create key to create our API key. The first thing is to select the workspace, and by default, you'll have the default workspace, so you can just select that and then you can name your key whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine Cursor Tutorial and I'll hit Add. Now it displays your key here and this is the only way that you're gonna be able to access it. So you need to make sure that you hit this copy key button before closing out of this window. If you accidentally close out of this without copying the key, don't worry, you can just create a new one and delete the old one. So once we hit copy key, we can close out of the window and then move back to Cursor. Once you're back in Cursor, you can scroll all the way down until you get to Anthropic API key. And this is where you paste in that key that you just copied. Once you paste it in, you need to click the verify button button in order to enable Anthropic API key. You get this box just warning you that, hey, you're going to be billing for the API as opposed to utilizing Cursor Pro. So just be aware of that. So we can click Enable Anthropic API key to start using that API. Once it's verified, this turns green and the switch turns on. And it also tells you with Cursor Pro subscription, you do not need to have your own Anthropic key because you're already paying for Cursor Pro and they're footing the bill on the API. But if we want to go directly to the API as opposed to using Cursor Pro, maybe you just want to use the free version. This is how we can go to it directly. Now, if you scroll back up to the models, you'll have some new models here that weren't here before. This Claude 3 Haiku, Opus, Sonnet, and then you have the originals that were already here, the Haiku, Sonnet, Sonnet, and Sonnet Max. Now again, you should be aware that if you're using the Anthropic API, it will incur some amount of cost based off of what model that you're using. So now instead of premium model requests, we're actually sending requests directly to Anthropic and we'll take in some API cost. So now once again, if we go over to the right and ask it something, we should be able to use any of the models that we have for Claude and it will directly use the Anthropic API as opposed to using any of the cursor functions. So I just decided to ask it, what does the compression.go class do? And it gave me pretty much the same exact response. It tells me a little bit more about decoding the image data uh, for JPEG, for PNG, stuff like that. And then I ask it, what do other files do? And it looked in through all of my project structure and checked out some of the other files and then gave me some information about the compression.go, the optimal compression.go, website compression.go, stuff like this. And then if we go over to the Anthropic page, we can see that under usage, we've used a total of 104,000 tokens in and 1,700 out. And if we hover over this, this is May 11th. Today is May 11th at the time of this recording. We can see that we have done those usages through that Anthropic API from Cursor. Now, like I said, we are using Anthropic API. So if we go to the cost associated with this, and then I'm going to select the default workspace instead of Cloud Code, and we can see that we used 11 cents for those two requests. So you have to figure out what is the most cost-effective way for you to utilize Cursor with Claude. Now, another option is through Open Router. If we check out Open router, they have all of the Claude Sonnet and Claude 
models inside of Open Router, and we just have to hook it up to Cursor. If you wanna know how to do that, I have a video that I made. It's also in the description or up here in the card. Now again, like any of them, it will cost some amount of money. Like this one says $3 per million input tokens and $15 per million output tokens. So you'll just really have to figure out what is the most cost-effective way for you, whether you pay up front with Cursor Pro or you pay through the API usage from Anthropic or through Open Router. And with that, that is how you can use Anthropic's Claude models inside of Cursor.